big bold. So I've been skidding. Don't skid all day. I've been done. Uh, let's see. Corner that clock down there. It's basically 11 o'clock. And we have done uh, six. Seven and eight should be showing up in a minute. So we're just going right. We're going. Watch me skid for a little bit. And I haven't really gotten to go over the John Deere skidder with like as far as things I like, things I don't like. And to be perfectly honest, today's the first day I'm gonna be running one of these things full time. A skidder in general, full time since I don't know how long it's been. Um, it's been years. I know that. I can skid pretty good. Skid good enough to hold a job. But I'm no professional. This is good wood though. This is really good wood. So what I was just doing right there, I'm, I'm backing all the way into my road. Before anybody, I'm surprised somebody hasn't said something already. The brakes on this grapple are messed up. Frontwards and backwards is, is good. Side to side, that baby doll is... She's... Yeah, she's got troubles. But anyway, you know... There's a little pin that goes through the, the braking mechanism back there. And I, it keeps chewing ours up and spitting it out. You don't like it. Just 
perfect. It's all in one pile for you already, and then the pile is built straight, not kind of crossed up a little bit. You, you can choke up pretty short on your wood, and you're good to go. But if you try to build, you know, two or three piles, especially in this big wood like this, it's really heavy. And you're trying to choke up short on it. It ain't happening.
come up the, you know, turn, make, it, it would not make the turn. I walked it out, and the front end was just light, 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 even with the booms pulled all the way up. And, and I got it to where it would, it, it walked the whole down row, and I was trying, I almost had it make the corner, but there was a kicker tree there, and it fouled me up. We're right here on top of the loader. It's saying my average skid distance is 661 feet. So it, uh, Come in. We're not that far from the loader, so I don't oh, have to run so hard so that traffic don't flop around so bad, but for the most part this thing is just a I mean it is a halt. I would like to see them put some, uh, this is an L1, the L2s may have some of this stuff already kind of looked at, tended to, but the, uh, I would like to see them put some kind of sensors on the, the steering for sure, but the booms and the grapple, I would like to see something put on it with these electronic controls that it makes it so hard to finesse sometimes that you're, uh, it's kind of like the Tiger Cat electric control stuff. It has a, like a sensor, I guess that's what you would call it. Basically what it is is a sensor that reads how far the boom is moved. I think it's a, the, the technical term for it is a potentiometer.
I know I went over the, the Tiger Cat one time before, and this one is set up just like a Tiger Cat. You press down on this joystick over here. You press down, down is down, up is up. You pull, you pull this joystick into you, and the boom comes to you. You push it away, the boom goes away. Open, close, rotate left, rotate right. I'm not sure if y'all can see up there or not. Down just a little bit, but down here, you got your gear selector, and then your frontwards and reverse, forwards and reverses on the bottom of your joystick. The green button here that's to flip your seat around. This is for your differential locks over here. Another differential lock over here. You got uh, another shifter selector over here. Your winch and your blade your keypad to crank it and everything like that. You got a brake, a, a go pedal, both back here and in the front. The cab on this thing is like huge and it is extremely wide. I love how quiet this cab is. Tiger Cat Skitter is so loud. Even the new, the new mini model, it is so loud. It's just, I mean, it's nothing like the old skitters we used to have with straight pipes and stuff like that. But comparing it to this, it's like, it's, it's, it's deafening. So you always want to make sure you come down here and where you just got your last drag from, you want to look and make sure, hey, I got all the wood there. That way, you know, you're clear on that. Y'all are also going to see in a minute how to clean up the wood from Timbermatic. And I'm going to show y'all how the tons and all that other stuff work. He's got kind of going up on like a little hill right here. He got his wood through. Not exactly perfectly straight. Stop swinging. Down there, I ain't gonna be able to do that. So, what 
do is I'll, I'll pick this bundle up. It's a pretty good bundle under there. I don't think y'all can see it, but I wish y'all could see it the way it's not wanting to hold that wood out there. I hate that. Really, I mean, I had to back my, my, my gravel up on the wood, like, two more feet before I had it. So that gives me, like, three feet of overhang out there. And I can't get my gravel as close to me as I, I like doing this big, big stuff. But anyway, what I'll do here is I will pull that up. And then uh, um, I'll go ahead and pull it all the way out here in that. And I'm gonna drop it, and I'm gonna back down here, and I'm gonna run over the tops in the axis. And yes, that's an extra step or so. But that does two things. That keeps you from having a ton of trash collect really fast in the set. I say a ton. Not really a ton, but it's a good bit. It's enough that I've, I've proven this to work pretty good. So I'll run this over. Knock these limbs loose here. And even if the limbs happen to hang on until it gets to the set up there, the set, deck, ramp, landing, whatever you would prefer to call it, even if it hangs on until it gets up there, those limbs are, you know, they're just knocked loose. When Mickey picks them up with the loader, it's going, they're just, they're just going to fly up in the air and fly off of it. And then, if they're just broke and laid over whenever he goes to pick it up and put it in the box, in, in, not the box, but I use the box here. And whenever he goes to just put it in the delimmer, that thing's going to be... Done, up, full. Anyway, that thing's going to be, the, the trees are going to be, the limbs knocked off of them really nicely. And it's going to make him delim faster. So, that's the biggest reason I do it is because it's going to help my loader man a bunch. I got that drag pretty straight and I was able to really get up there to the end of those butts. Y'all see how close back here I can get that wood. That makes a huge difference on how this, uh, this skitter drives. Huge difference.
having to, you know, pick up any trash out of the set and stuff like that because I have another, another screwdriver here. We don't need it.
makes the same crap for anybody who says, you should have got a new third kit. Well, Yeah. 